What is going on guys? Ben Lincoln here coming back at you with another video today for the Super Bowl in Miami, Florida against the Jacksonville Jaguars who went 11-3-2. Two ties. Very interesting. Uh, our season is pretty much over. We have one more obstacle to, uh, to face before we do end up advancing to the offseason in Season 3. So things we're going to change is I do want to make the game harder. Um while keeping the competitive gameplay and i do agree that the cpu offense has not been good but there are certain things that i don't want to change uh based on performance so i'm going to turn qb accuracy up a lot we're going to try 55 and see how that plays fumbles uh i thought it was if you go down they fumble more the cpu doesn't fumble so we're going to try 40 and then i'm going to turn down pass coverage for the user i'm going to keep the defense reaction time where it is and uh, I think the rest is pretty much fine. Wide receiver catching at 45 is still ridiculous. They still catch everything through every hit stick. Uh, but I'm going to turn it up to a 47. I'm going to try that. Run blocking, I'm going to try an 82 or 83. Pass blocking, I like where that is. I'm also going to turn up the pass coverage on the CPU to a 50. Although I, I still think that might even be too high. And hopefully their offense plays a bit better hopefully qb accuracy plays a big part in that they have run blocking is ridiculously high so uh this is not going to be an easy game by any stretch if i lose i lose it happens you know we're going to come back strong in season three i'm sure but we do have some upgrade points roman Pugh, the roman soldier olivier vernon howard russell ellis offered kyle laletta ethan cooper so people were talking about kyle laletta how he shouldn't be that good because he's only a 76, but if you check out his ratings, the in-game ratings that matter, his accuracy is very good for the most part. Plus decent throw power, 82 deep, 88 medium, 87 short. Like, his accuracy is there. It's just his awareness which brings down his overall, which really doesn't matter for um, for actually playing the game at all. So we're going to upgrade strong arm, throw under pressure goes up, throw accuracy medium goes up, uh, or mid, I should say, and then awareness goes up a couple, which boosts his overall. So he is a very accurate passer in terms of rating. Just his awareness brings down that overall. As for Roman Pugh, his power moves is at a really good spot. So I think I'm going to continue to work on block shedding, and we're going to go into run stopper. It doesn't boost his overall as far as I can tell. Hopefully block shed goes up. I didn't see because I skipped. Uh, I think it did go up too, though. I think it was at a 76 or 77. Now it's at a 78. For Olivier Vernon, we're kind of in a weird spot with him. He's a good player. He's 28. He's still going to be on this team. We're going to go into Power Rusher. And just get that element of his game improved. Hopefully it goes up to past a 90. Plus 2 power move. So it is going to. 91 power move. That is fantastic. And then Howard Russell, the rookie receiver out of USC. I think we're going to continue to go into deep threat with him. Get deep route running up. His spectacular catch is already fantastic. Deep route running is something that he would really, really benefit from. And release especially. His spectacular catch is already insane. So that doesn't really matter. But plus two to deep route running. Plus two to medium route running. Spin move even goes up. I love to see that. So he's coming along really, really nicely. My future plans for him uh, probably involve him being the number two receiver on the field. We might try that out in season number three. Season number two for him. And then Ellis offered. He's like not that good because of his speed. That's really what it comes down to. And uh, I suppose we'll just go into run stopper for him, make him go up to an 82 overall. I don't love him as a player, if I'm being honest. He just doesn't really make big plays. But it, I'm not going to pull a Bill Belichick and, and bench a starter in the Super Bowl, you know, regardless of what their ability might be. He's certainly decent, but that's going to be it for the upgrades. And it is time to play the Jaguars Super Bowl Miami. 86 overall to 89 overall. It's going to be a fun one. Okay, the Jaguars are attempting to win their first ever Super Bowl. They're going to have to go through us in order to get it done live from Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. No rain, just weird fireworks triggering. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I'm going to let this play out. As we usually don't see the intros, but I think this is a fairly important one. How many games are we going to have where we're in the Super Bowl? You know, in a franchise series. One or two, maybe three at the most. So, Robbie Blake Bortles and the Jacksonville Jaguars in some pretty sick all-black uniforms. 
are going to storm the field. And uh, Bengus Khan, he's been pretty effective as a Giants head coach, 20 and 12 overall. Doug Marone, 37 and 26, but he's won in the playoffs before. We only have a couple of playoff wins because we only had a couple of playoff games all this season. And Kyle Laletta has a pretty monstrous task ahead of him, which is play the Jaguars in Florida and their monstrous defense. we got to shut down playmakers as well on the offensive side of the ball for the Jaguars. Leonard Fournette, never know what Blake Bortles is going to do. But I am excited to get things underway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start Super Bowl 54. 54? 54. Let's see how good Robbie Bortles is with 55 or whatever it is, quarterback accuracy. I talked about in the last video I wanted more interceptions for defensive backs. I get it. The usering of the linebackers and the usering in general, I am more prone to intercept the CPU. As uh, someone brings down D.D. Westbrook, please, I'm more prone to intercept the CPU because I'm making good reads on the ball. But the defensive backs, the cornerbacks, the safeties, how often are they getting interceptions? Like, not often at all. So I'd like to see that go up and linebacker interceptions down. I think I'd make it better. But I am going to keep usering. And we got to have better defense there. I mean, nobody's even close as Marquise Lee gets the first down for the Jaguars. Somebody also dubbed in the comment section Lorenzo Carter as the Great Wall of Carter. Instead of China, as we try to get down Blake Bortles, he picks up the first down anyway. OV grabs his ankles from behind. But the Great Wall of Carter, and he's so tall. Jumps very high. He's great speed. He is honestly, he's the perfect user imaginable. So our defense has struggled a little bit to start off the game. That's all right, though. I'm sure we're going to step it up with a user pick from Lorenzo Carter. Easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And Lorenzo Carter is going to start off Super Bowl 54 with a pick six. 71 yards to the house. And the great wall of Carter is giving us what looks to be a seven to nothing lead huge defensive play that's what we need that's gonna be a lob ball make a play come on landon play the ball this is blake bortles we're going up against not aaron Rodgers. not tom brady clearly not aaron Rodgers. he's in the nfc right now third and ten let's go defense blake bortles trying to get us to jump off sides not gonna happen I'm trying to cover everybody. That's an interception. Roman Pugh drops it. Blake Bortles throws it right to the Roman soldier. The defensive end dropping back into coverage as he was pressured heavily. And it goes right through the hands of Roman Pugh. That's why he plays defensive end and not tight end, I guess. But that that's so bad. Start off offensively with a huge play. We're going to play that I've liked, which is this crossers play with having Evan Ingram on a fade route. And we're going to look for somebody open. We had R1, but we're going to check down. Not check down. We're going to we're gonna throw a little bit longer. Not to the check down. Odo Beckham Jr. wide open, beating the zone coverage for 27 yards. Rolling out with Laletta. We got Odell. Laletta on the run for Beckham Jr. Caught it on the sideline. What an incredible throw on the run and catch from Odell. It was led a little bit further out of bounds than I would have liked. But it honestly was put in the perfect spot when a receiver like Odell can go up and get the ball like that. Keep the feet in bounds. Absolutely incredible. Here's Saquon Barkley. Trying to find some room. Can't really. Let's do something here. I almost want to run the ball. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do is put Saquon on a curl route. And maybe throw a quick to Evan Ingram if we can. We see a mismatch. And we're going to throw it up. Pressure came in too quick. I threw the ball almost right away and he still couldn't get it off. So we are going to settle for the field goal. They sent six there. And hopefully this field goal will be good. A lot of wind in Miami today. But Aldrich Rosas kick sails right down the middle. And we're going to take a 10-0 lead as it has been a pretty good start for us. That Lorenzo Carter interception was huge. Really turned the tides because they were driving down the field with, you know, no stopping them in sight. But Lorenzo Carter, pick six, really made things happen. To run? Oh, it's play action. Get back. He's going to throw it short. And it's just out of bounds. Blake Bortles having a really rough start to this game. As uh, we once again had Roman Pugh in coverage. And the coverage was pretty good, actually. But I want him going after the quarterback. It's a screen. Lorenzo Carter rips the ball out of the hands of the running back, Rashad. 
Please, with that said, no idea who that might be. Obviously a uh, generated player by the computer. But, uh, well, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Tried to get under that route with Lorenzo Carter, pick it off over his head. Tried to then get on it with Morris Dubose, ran right past it. Not what you like to see. Big completion from the Jaguars. Blake Bortles needed that. That's a run. That's actually play action. And a wide open receiver. And it makes a man miss. The ball's on the ground. Landon Collins forces the fumble finally. That's like our first forced fumble in, well, besides the strip sack. In, I'm not even sure, like a season maybe? <laughs> big hit from Landon Collins. And we got the football back. That could have been a big play, but Blaze Campbell making sure that we don't get any big plays in the run game. This could be a really big play. We're going to throw it. Come on, Kyle! Picked up by Saquon Barkley. And they are going for the football. Oh, my goodness. That is a huge strip sack as they're blitzing. We got a man open, though. It's Odell Beckham Jr. Too much underneath that one. And uh, it is incomplete. It's going to be third and 28. And uh, we got one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to lob it up. And it did not get nearly far enough. It's intercepted by A.J. Boye. And the Jags are going to have excellent field positioning. Uh, pressure just got in too quick. They sent four. We blocked five. We blocked six even. And uh, it doesn't matter. It's another run. Trying to get over there. Leonard Fournette being more patient than usual. We eventually do wrestle him down. It's going to be fourth and one. And it looks like the Jaguars will settle for a field goal try, which will uh, almost certainly be good. Cutting the lead down to only seven. Oh, that one looked like it was sneaking. <laughs> it looked like it was sneaking right. Wind blows it back. Now the start of the second quarter. We're going to look to get Saquon Barkley going. He's been pretty much neutralized in the playoffs, and that trend it looks like it's going to continue. It's going to continue. Goes uh, eight yards in the wrong direction. Oh, he burned him. Howard Russell deep down the field. And the ball is knocked out at the last second. Oh, I thought we had it. Third and 18. Throw it quick. Evan Ingram has it knocked out as well. Oh, come on, dude. Two drops, essentially. I know that, like, they were not easy catches, to say the least, but you got to haul it in there. That's going to be roughing the punter. Roughing the kicker, obviously, is not roughing the punter. We're going to have a first down, maybe. Is it a 15-yard penalty and automatic first down? I can't remember. It is roughing the kicker, though. And it is going to be an automatic first down and a 15-yard penalty. And our drive is kept alive, not from two big completions, but from a penalty that I've never even seen so far this entire series. But I will take it. But we got one over the top. Kyle Aletta throws a deep ball. Sterling Shepard hauls it in. Touchdown! What a throw from Kyle Aletta. And Sterling Shepard in the Super Bowl, 55 yards to the house. Beat him over the top, and that was just an excellent route, an excellent throw, and a great score. 17-3 New York Giants here in Super Bowl 54. That's a pretty big run from Leonard Fournette. It, it would have been huge. The CPU is just not fantastic at, uh, at running the ball. They're way too indecisive. So whereas that might have been 20, 25 yards, it's nine, which there's nothing I can do about that to make that better, more realistic. That's mine. Use your pick. Easy reads. BJ Goodson. Pick six, number two of the game for this giant defense. Uh, Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets for the easy read. As I, I kind of forgot about that. But it is 24 to three. It's not even close right now. Throw at me. How is that over the head of Lorenzo Carter? Austin Safarian Jenkins. I, I, Blake Worrell is just through the best pass I've ever seen. I don't know how that got through. Play action. That wide open. Somebody hit him. Landon Collins. Thank you. They finally don't complete a pass like that. Give me it, user. Pick easy reads. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Are we going to go through the entire Harry Potter series? Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, Azkaban. 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 
Azkaban. I don't know why I can't say that. I keep saying ass cabin. That sounds like a place I do not want to go. That's wide open. Evan Ingram. Boom! Oh. Second and goal. Ball's going to go to Saquon Barkley this time. And we have a hole up the middle. Saquon bounces off a tackle. End zone. Touchdown. And the blowout in the Super Bowl continues. It's going to be 31-3. to The sliders were made more difficult. And we had close games with the Falcons. Close games with the Rams. I believe it was the Rams. Yeah. But, uh... Yikes. My usering's been pretty good this game, to be fair. I keep baiting Blake Bortles to throw it right at me. That's another good run. I need the football to come out there. The only thing Obi Melifanwu actually does well is, is hit people hard for his uh, ratings, but he's going to hold on to it there. He took a huge shot. Get after Blake Bortles. Thank you, Damon Harrison. Brings down Robbie for the first sack of the game. That's what I want this defense to do. Get after the QB. We're going to send Heat. It's actually going to be super tough. Bortles going to take off, maybe. Tackled from behind, but he got two yards. Field goal is up and right down the middle. Jaguars uh, really don't cut into this this uh, lead at all, as we're still going to be up 31 to six at the field goal. I'd really like to uh, score before half. Could be the dagger early here. It's not who I thought was going to get blocked there. We step up with Kyle Aletta and slide. Maybe had a couple options. Uh, we're just going to play conservatively, though. We want to you know choose some of this clock. We want to waste some of this time while we drive down the field so the Jaguars don't have an opportunity to answer. Go on, go on. But, I mean, if we see a shot, we might we might take one deep. That's 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 so bad. Kind of freaked out there. And uh, fourth and two from the 33, we're actually going to punt. That's a sack. Dalvin Tomlinson gets to Blake Bortles, who ran right into him. And uh, who would have guessed that the two sacks for us in this game would be from the two interior defensive linemen. Uh, not me. That's at me. That's a user pick. You idiot! User pick. Easy reads. What is the fourth Harry Potter book? Harry Potter and... The Goblet of Fire, I want to say? I don't know. My usering's been... I mean, Blake Bortles keeps throwing it. What do you want me to do? Not catch it? I don't want any user. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's going to go right back. Uh, I didn't expect Jalen Ramsey to do that. All right, whatever. Don't worry about it. That's another one. Lorenzo Carter forces the fumble. Recovers it. We got the football back. So we've had one fumble for us maybe the entire season on a hit stick, if that. Now we have two in one game. Maybe I'm going to bump that slider up from like 40 to 43. Because 45, none happened. Throwing it up. Evan Ingram, touchdown, huge mismatch, and we got the ball through there. Kyle Lalletta is leading us to a 38-6 win right now over the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's a lead. It's not a win yet, clearly. Lorenzo Carter, Super Bowl MVP? I don't know. He's played pretty well. P.J. Goodson also would make an argument for it. All right, that's going to be the half. I know... The comments probably will not be super excited that I'm up 38-6 to in the Super Bowl, but the sliders are more difficult. And we played close games in the, uh, in the rest of the playoffs. I really don't know what to tell you. I know this isn't the most exciting Super Bowl in culmination to our season. It's kind of just an absolute slaughter at the moment. It's the way she goes sometimes. There we go, Saquon. I need Evan Ingram to really get faster on that block as we're starting to find a little something with Saquon Barkley. That was the first real good block of the game for anybody. Third and one. That is wide open. Jarrell Adams. Not who you'd expect. And that's that's a vicious dive. Who's 96? Is that Malik Jackson? He's trying to end Jarrell Adams' career before it even started. Third and goal. Not really sure what we're going to do here. Uh, probably just play it safe and then settle for the field goal. As we get Red Ellison, we got a block. 
Go Red. He fumbles. Down at the two. So, if we were to go for it here. From the two. I think we're going to. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? Because we already have a pretty big lead. So if we don't get it, it's, you know, not a huge deal. But we'd also pin them at, like, the one or the two. A field goal, I mean, make it 41 to 6. It doesn't really change much. Saquon up the middle. Doesn't get it. He's averaging, his, you know, 2.6 per carry. His number without the decimal. But they are pinned down the one. So this could even re uh, result in points for us and the ball back. As we can get up close to the box. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, dude. How do we not get a safety there? Third and five. No first downs. We're gonna blitz. Down goes the quarterback, Lorenzo Carter. And it's recovered by Olivier Vernon. We had him in coverage, but we decided to blitz up the middle when we saw it was wide open. Lorenzo Carter with the strip sack and then the recovery by Olivier Vernon. And the decision to go for it pays gigantic, or you could say giant, dividends. 45 to 6. Third and 24. We're going after the quarterback. Big hit from Lorenzo Carter. His second sack of the game. And he dabs. I don't like that. But I do like the hit. All right, I will admit, and we're probably on the same page here. Um, it has been too easy for me this game. And it's not even, it's not anything offensively that we've been super dominant. We can't run the ball. We haven't really passed the ball that effectively. So many of our points have come from our defense. And my user, this game, appears to be incredibly overpowered. It just, it just looks like it has been. I, I've been too dominant with sacks and, and uh, interceptions and touchdowns. I get that. I'm, I can't stop usury, man. It, 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 we'd be getting slaughtered if I didn't, probably. Third and 14. I don't really know what we're looking for here. I doubt anything gets real open. We're just going to throw it short to Howard Russell. And, uh, yeah, can't really do much with it. We'll punt to start the fourth quarter. That's, oh my goodness. I know, I know. That should have been a user pick though. But you know, how can you complain? I have four this game. I get that. I do. I, I hear you. But that should have been five. And we're gonna probably return this with Morris Dubose. Why not? Hey, could have gotten with 20, who cares? Oh, and Saquon's fumbled the ball. Saquon has fumbled the ball. Malik Jackson going the wrong way. He's 97. Who is 96, man? I have no idea. That's going to be a deep ball. Where is Janoris Jenkins, dude? <laughs> I can't even make work. How are you that open? He's in a deep zone, right? Where he manned up. Something was going on. I need somebody on that. If Sacklin Brackley somehow manages to rush for 100 yards, I don't know. I'll be shocked, but like, it looks possible. I, I won't even be shocked. There's Saquon. There's a juke. Saquon Barkley, hold on to the ball, please. And he's up at 80 yards now. We're starting to go a little bit. Third and six, we're going to look to run the ball again. And if we don't get it, we don't get it. It is what it is. Saquon, you needed to go through to Sean Gibson there. You didn't. And uh, we're going to try a field goal. Portal's rolling out, throwing! And somehow that pass is complete. Is that a first down? Wow. That's almost a pick! Morris, come on, dude. So that's an athletic knockdown. I'll give him that, but... I need a pick there. Another third down. And that is going to be intercepted! It's Ellis Offord. Our first non-user pick of the entire game. <laughs> Blake Bortles is terrible. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get one more snap off. That was gross. Saquon Barkley is going to rush for one yard to end the game. 
And the New York Giants are Super Bowl champions. There are going to be slider changes for Season 3 to make it more challenging. But that that's it's so weird because the sliders are as difficult as they've been all season. And this was maybe the easiest game I've played all season next to the Bills. It, it was just confusing. I, I, I think it must be down to the quarterback because... Bortles was terrible. Their offensive line, which isn't good, it wasn't good uh, for the most part. It was just, it's a user in game, man. That's, that's what it comes down to. And I'm excited to see who the Super Bowl MVP would be. Personally, I think you guys will be on board with me. Give it to Lorenzo Carter. But you could make an argument for Kyle Laletta. You could make an argument for Sterling Shepard, for Odell Beckham Jr. It's going to be Odell. They're going to give Super Bowl MVP, it looks like, to Odell Beckham Jr. They usually show that that angle and then give it to him like that usually pops up on the screen i'll say um i would give it to lorenzo carter but we got bj goodson up there odell beckham kyle aletta and of course uh uh who, who did i not say i said bj goodson saquon odell kyle aletta. i might have not said saquon anyway that's the group and that is the super bowl championship done in season two after just a brutal season one but yes, that is some loud music. New York Giants are Super Bowl champions. Does it not say who the MVP was, man? Usually it would pop up. At least it did in 17. So that is the Super Bowl over and done with. We will be using those upgrade points at the end of the season, uh, which is essentially now. So I wonder if it gives me a uh, news on who, a news story on who won Super Bowl MVP. It doesn't look like we're going to get one. I don't see any name here, which is a little bit annoying. But what I will say is that we will be doing an off-season live stream for season number three, adjusting the sliders, that sort of thing, uh, on stream, twitch.tv slash bangle. The link will be in the description. I'll put out a video when I'm live and doing it as well, so you guys can watch that. Last time we had almost 1,000 people in the stream, so that was pretty awesome. So if you guys want to have input on who we draft, who we sign, what happens to free agents, who gets traded for, who gets traded, stay on the lookout for that. Also, updates on Twitter, twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. Make sure to look out for it. I'm super excited. Uh, season three, I think, will be more difficult than ever, even with a better team. But that's going to be part of the fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Fantastic.